I'm just waiting for the perfect time. I'm just waiting for the perfect opportunity. How many times have you used that excuse? When you've seen a girl, whether you're on the way to the shops and you see an attractive girl walking towards you, or you're at school, you're at school or university or just anywhere, right? You see, you come across an attractive girl. How many times have you used that excuse? I used to use it all the time. I think if I look back at all the different excuses that I used to make up for myself as to why I shouldn't approach that girl, the fact that it wasn't a perfect time, I think was the most popular one. In whichever situation I was in, there was always something about the situation that didn't seem right, didn't seem perfect. And time and time again, I'd wait for this perfect opportunity this perfect scenario to approach the girl. I've got some realization for you, mate. I've got a cold heart truth to share with you. They, there never will be a perfect time. Never in life will they be a perfect time to do something. And it's not just when it comes to approaching women. But in anything, whatever you want to do in life, whatever your goals and aspirations are, there never will be a perfect time to start something or to do something. It's a massive coping mechanism, right? And the reason why I can, why I can say that is because, like I say, it was one of my most popular ones. Right? I used to cope so hard when it came to approaching girls because... Every situation, I was like, oh, you know what, it's not, it's not the right time. Let me give it like five minutes, then I'll approach. Right, let me wait until the next time I see her, then I'll approach. Wait until I'm, you know, wait until I've got a, a better haircut, right? Maybe I saw a girl that I liked and, you know, I was due a haircut. And I was like, you know what, when I get a fresh trim and I'm looking, and I'm looking better, when I see that girl again at my lecture hall or something, then I'll approach her. Right, every single time. I'd make some shit reason why that was not the perfect time. And truth be told, I was completely right. I was completely right that that was not the perfect time. Because like I say, there never is a perfect time for anything. So you have to get that notion out of your head that you're just waiting for the perfect time. Because if you are waiting for the perfect time, that time will never, ever, ever come. That perfect opportunity will never materialize. So if you're waiting for that time to do something, to do anything, you will never do that thing. You will never bite the bullet and do that thing. You have to learn to go from this mindset of waiting for the perfect opportunity to doing that thing now regardless of the opportunity, regardless of the situation. If you want to start a YouTube channel, don't wait until you're a bit more confident or until you've got slightly better equipment or until you can speak better. Start today. Even if today is not the perfect time to start, start today. If you want to get in shape, don't wait until you've got the money to afford a gym pass. Don't wait until you go to university or move somewhere where the gym's closer. Start today. Even if that means doing a suboptimal body weight routine in your living room. Right? Even if it means doing a routine that doesn't cover all muscle groups, right? Do something. Start today. If you want to approach a girl and you're not looking the best that you know you can, you're not feeling the best that you know you can, maybe there's something on her part that makes 
the situation, not a perfect time to approach her. Don't wait, just do it. Do it today, do it now. Next time you see that attractive girl that you want to approach, give yourself a maximum of three seconds before you're approaching her, before you're walking towards her to speak to her. Because if you give yourself any more time than three seconds, you will start to overthink. You will start to overplay the situation in your mind. You will start to overanalyze it. And the longer you do this, the more doubt, the more reasons why not to approach her will materialize in your brain. And it will stop you from doing that thing. Right? Even though deep down you know you want to do that thing really bad, You'll give, you, you'll give you a weak mind because that is frankly what it is right now. You've got a weak mind. You've got a weak brain, mate. Your mind is not your friend in this situation. You, your brain is not your ally. In fact, it's your most dangerous enemy right now. And until you recondition it, until you rewire it completely to be in your favour, it, it will continue to be your number one enemy in life. So if that's the state of your brain, the state of your mind right now, do not give it any time to ruin your life even more. Do not give it even a slight opportunity to continue to hold you back in life. Start acting on impulse, right? Until you've reconditioned your brain. Because, mate, right now my brain is my biggest ally. It's my biggest asset. We work in unison to achieve what I want to achieve in life. But that took some time. That took some time and effort to recondition it to the point where it is now. And until you get to that point as well, you cannot trust it at all. So you have to act on impulse. You see that girl, bam, you're gone. Three seconds max, you're gone. Before, before your brain even has an idea of what's going on, you're there, you're walking towards her, you're talking to her. You want to get in shape, bam. Okay, one, go on YouTube, home body weight workout, first routine, bam, watch it, start doing it within like 20 minutes. Right, you, you need to just start acting more on impulse, mate. You want to do something, go fucking get it. You want to achieve something, go fucking after it. And as you start doing this more and more, your brain, your mind is going to become an ally over time. And when it gets to that point, it's so much easier. Right, you see that attractive girl? You don't have to go approach her within three seconds because you're confident enough to just approach her naturally. Right, you... You want to get in shape, or by this point, you know, you've been going to the gym for a little, for a little while, but you see some progress, you, you see some muscle gains. At that point, you don't have to force yourself. You don't have to trick yourself to continue. You've developed that, that discipline for it. You've developed that, that passion for it because you see the progress, you see the results. You see the, the better life that's come out of it. Right, And through these things, your brain, your mind will become your ally. And at that point, it's so much easier to just go after everything that you want in life. But until that point, just remember, there's no perfect time. If you wait for the perfect time, you will never ever do anything of value in life. You'll just sit around waiting and waiting and waiting, and before you know it, your life's passed you by. You've achieved absolutely nothing, and you look around and you see those people that just did things. They just got up and did stuff. Those are the people that reap the benefits, that reap the rewards. So if you want to join that club, if you want to join that team of men that actually do amount to something in life, that do achieve some tangible success in life, start going after your goals today. Start going after your desires today.